Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Remix here bringing you guys another video today. We've got three things about Halo 5, okay? Another compliment sandwich because I found two things I really liked and one thing that I really, really didn't like. So the first thing that I did enjoy was the implementation of the mantle, or I believe they call it the clamor. Now, this means when you jump up to a ledge, you can hold A and mantle and climb up onto that ledge. And in past iterations of the game, what you used to have to do, you used to have to be able to time the jump and the crouch in order to get on some certain spots. So I think maybe now that closes the skill gap a little bit. However, I still think it's a very wise idea because Halo, or any first person shooter, is kind of hard for an intro game. Like you can't just pop into first person shooter and enjoy yourself because some people are so dedicated as fans to that game, they play it all the time, it doesn't make it fun for the general population. Now, the next thing I'd like to touch on is, and this hurts me in the heart, it really, really does. Halo 5 does not have any sort of party games, okay? I don't know if you guys know this back in Halo Reach and in Halo 4, there was a thing called Griff Ball where everybody had a either a sword or the gravity hammer and you had to pick up a bomb and put it in somebody else's base. Now, these maps were super symmetrical. They were squares or diamonds and it was just mayhem. Everybody had the power weapons. You just bonk people upside the head. It was awesome. Or even going back to... Halo Ball. Halo Ball from, uh, it was like Ski Ball, dude, or soccer. Everybody had a gravity hammer, and it was just crazy. You get like 70 kills. It was so much fun, and, and I'm kind of sad that they didn't put that in the game. Lastly, and one thing that I'm, I'm going to make another video about this and kind of give you guys more specifics, but if you look down there in that corner in your heads-up display, you see your radar, and then you've got a figure there. You've got an amount. You've got 18 meters. Now, I don't know if that's the radius of your circle or the diameter. However, just to have some sort of idea how big your radar actually is, is awesome. And then, secondly, they've got a smaller inner circle that lets you know about the halfway point. So we don't know if it's 18 meters radius or diameter, so we don't know if it's 9 meters or a 4.5 meter line. However, I think it's very valuable information. As soon as I figure that out, I'll let you guys know. Nice tool. I love the fact they put it in there. I don't know why it took so long. It w was never in there in previous Halo games. That'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. If you got something to say, let me know in the comments below. As always, this has been your boy Remix. Peace out.